actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hee <laughs> hee. Actually, the story isn't about, isn't about a ghost at all, go away. Really? I must be I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemnly solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive! Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was really impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, go away. Ah. Uh, me too. Well, we'll go to Natsuki because she's the girl who's apparently going to be really biased and not like my poem, probably. So let's find out. Cupcake girl, what do you got? Go away. If you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyways, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is about animals! Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can speak. No, owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Animal, cutesy, yeah. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't, wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for, for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into the went to it than I realized. That's what I mean that that's what it means to be a pro. Don't get cocky now, girl. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Oh, she is the youngest one. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old anyone, everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. See, MC can be nice sometimes. Alright, I guess I'll share some time with a uh, childhood friend. Because why not? This is a good go- <laughs> This is a good- <laughs> This is a good go on po away. <laughs> This is a good poem, go away. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. You think I'm like... Look, I'm too lazy to write any poems, okay? It's not that good. 
Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's, it's like I said before, go away. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? <laughs> oh god, human beings are like the most selfish creatures on earth. I see no reason why what I'm doing is not selfish. I'm trying to get close to one of these four girls. Therefore, I joined the literature club. Is that not selfish? Alright. Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing that much, knowing, knowing how much this mentor meant, means to her and all, yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? Oh, I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, <laughs> Sayori, this is just a guess, but. Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean! Well, you are the right vice president, you should be like one of the most prepared members in this club. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It just came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Oh, that was a lot of reading. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, staring, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, 
Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Go Away did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. <laughs> and Go Away liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> I love them. Eh? That's not what I... Ugh. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Go Away appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I... Everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my god, calling her out on it. <laughs> um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Go Away started showing up. <laughs> what? <laughs> N Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Oh my god. I, I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they they just noticed I was standing there. Go away. She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poem all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, go away. Well, wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey com complex, ex complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Go Away? Um. Well? <laughs> oh my god, I kind of feel bad for the MC now. I'm kind of glad I'm only his inner consciousness right now. How did I get my- how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri, help me, Sayuri! <laughs> um, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god, this is hard. This would be a good time to save, I guess. <laughs> um, I wish I had peop more people in chat. I'd be like, guys, help me decide. I'm gonna go with... I really don't want to get in between any of them. Alright, I'm gonna play the childhood friend card, guys. Uh, but I kind of want to agree with Yuri, because she's awesome. I'm gonna go with Yuri. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feeling into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I, I see. I didn't notice that. I... I I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... 
Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being de defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayuri, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hand and throws it in the trash. Natsuki... Uh, I want to reload! Yeah, 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 I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Sayuri for help. Maybe this will save something. Natsuki? Wait. Wait, oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Let me reload that. Okay, Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I, fe I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her! Sayori! Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fight- everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Go away? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I- I agree. It's unfair to- for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori tells- Wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri... You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poem... They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just few, just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? B because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's moves are the same as they were, always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad I reloaded my save, guys. <laughs> Sayuri... Sayuri stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayuri is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayuri is, an ama is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes the two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she did, what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Can we talk to her a little more? That'd be nice, actually. Why couldn't I just talk to her? She's waifu! Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Go away, how about you? Yeah, I'd say I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poem will turn out even better. <laughs> I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the poem the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. 
Go away. I still don't know anything about what... I mean, I guess I kind of got insight in on Monica. Because I want to impress her for this playthrough. Anyways, go away. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. 